Retro, Buddy Michael Chip here, playing Trains 2019 Platinum Edition. And this is Tidewater Point, episode 47. We're going to pick up where we left off, and that is right here with Jeff as he was uh, drilling the inbound uh, train. Uh, into River Point, yeah, into the River Point yard. This is part of the, the train right here. Now, um, I already figured out where the next little set of cars is going to be going, the next cut of cars, I should say, and we got a problem right from the get. We pretzled right from the beginning. Why not? Uh, we have things that have to go on track six because they are slated to go to Tidewater, but if we look over here on track six, well, looky, looky. It is right here. Adair's already here waiting to pull things. Long hood forward back towards Tidewater. So we're going to have to get him out of the way. I, I, I had uh, designs maybe of adding these on here uh, and then let him pull the whole load over. But I don't know how heavy it's going to be. And so we're just going to get him out of the way. We're going to take the, the simple way out. And that is just send him on his way. So Adair will get his turn here well it's not really his turn but he, he'll get some he'll get some action is basically what i'm saying yeah okay action during jeff's turn now this is that did i do that right yeah that's that way that's that way yeah and that's that way okay and this is good right and this is good yeah okay so let's get a dare come here dare you're just going to Tidewater, buddy. We're going to give you. He's got a red right now. Let's see if we can get that to change. Uh, which makes me wonder why did I, why did I go through the problem of doing those switches when the AI would have done it anyway. But let's not get into that. Uh, so we are going to say drive to track mark. And we're going to say uh, Tidewater. Look at that. He's got a high green. Well, actually, it's the only green. He's got a green here. He's got a green there. Okay. Yep. Very good. Okay, so now we're going to come over here to Jeff. And we're going to fire up Jeff. He's got to go here to the incoming track. Those tankers right there is where the incoming track is, the inbound. Uh, apply it. Uh, come on out. There we go. Disconnect. fly him out this way. Uh, now, this should be already set, yeah, and then this is set this way already, yep. Because the dare's going to be going on the other track, we can hook up here. Look at that. Side-by-side -side engines, huh? Beautiful. All righty. This one's right. Oh, that would have been a disaster. Okay. Disaster averted. Here comes Jeff down this track now. So we're going to track six first. In fact, the entire back cut part of the cut is going to track six. Here we go. Start Jeff up this way now. This isn't, uh, yeah, that's correct. And that is correct, right? So he's got to clear this uh, switch right here. There goes the last of a dare as he leaves River Point on his way to Tidewater. Of course, uh, we, we first got to inch it up to uh, the gantry here. These are going to the refinery. All these tankers here are going up to the refinery here in River Point. We'll be going on track three. Uh, Vaughn is stuck in his waiting order. Yeah, okay, okay, Vaughn. Uh, and then we have uh, these corn and these uh, corn hoppers, the grain hoppers, and the uh, reefers behind them are all going to Tidewater. And now there's all kinds of room on track six. It's free of obstruction. That's nice. Did 
It's amazing how much easier things can get when you just move one train out of the way. Okay. Now Vaughn is stuck. Duke is stuck. Everybody's stuck. I hear you, fellas. Give me a minute. There we go. Alrighty. Track six, here we come. go got that one that way and then that one that way yep. okay. yes and this is track six and we'll have him clear this switch right here and maybe a little bit past the switch have them cleared just a little bit past the switch right here. And those are those uh, reefers are going to the Dole Fruit Dock, which is in Tidewater. And then those uh, grain hoppers are going to Tidewater Mills, the big grain facility out there near Tidewater. Go. Slow that down. A little more beautiful by slowing it down more. Here we go. Okay. Apply that. Decouple. Let's roll forward. Now we're headed off to track three. And uh, let's see what track three's got. There's one and two. There's three. I changed my mind. We're headed off to track four. Is there enough room on track four? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Those are all going up to the refinery, so we're going to put them on track four. Let's group them together. It's actually, track three and track four are designated for the refinery. So we might as well keep putting them on track four until that one becomes long. Then we can start sticking them on track three. Go. Oh, <laughs> I'm staring. I'm wondering when is that? When is it, when is it going to be open? It's been open for a while now. I'm so used to them taking uh, <laughs> forever to clear that uh, I'm like uh, I'm like staring at the screen, slack jawed. Uh, okay, there we go. Let's go back. Let's hop a ride on this one. Let's get a little conductor action in. Here he comes. Be checking my switches. There we go. Here we are. Now we'll hop on off. And we'll clear that frog.
go. Slow it back down. And about right, right there. Beautiful. All right. So we only got uh, one cut left to go. Let me put you guys on pause so I figure out where that cut's got to go. Okay, so I figured it out, uh, but I'm con I confused myself because some of the cars are going to have to go, these two TUFCs here are going to have to go to River Point Park, which is, you know, this area right over here. Uh, so it's either track seven or track eight. Well, track seven and track eight are right here and here. Uh, and why are they both full? I normally don't do it that way. Unless I thought, see, because there's a the cutoff sign right there. That's the, the shunt limit. So is because I did I figure oh track seven's good to go I don't know okay so um yeah we're we're gonna say we're gonna stick them on track seven we're gonna we're gonna say it's a hair short right we're, compared to this this we're gonna say it's just a hair short the coupler might be over it uh but we'll go like this then we'll go like this right and then this and then that that should be enough room to back them all onto there and then we'll clear out uh we'll clear out track seven one uh, first chance we get. Okay, so here we go now with G off again. We'll apply. We'll do this. We'll do. Oh no no! I'm thinking of the wrong game. There we go. Start hitting controls from other games. Don't do that. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna go back there. We only got. Two more, uh, uh, two more cuts. Well, one cut that we're going to break into two, I guess I should say. Two UFCs, which are going here in River Point, are going to track seven. And then the two boxcars that are on the end, which we're going to handle first, are going to Walmart, which is track two. No, 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 wrong way. There we go. All right. Love the click, uh, the quick clear. Come this way and uh, ever uh, in point or <laughs> inbound. Uh, in point is like a uh, combination of both river point and inbound. If you don't know what you want to say, just combine as many as you can together, and that way you're always going to be right, or at least it increases your chances of being right. But it makes it very confusing for those people who are listening. All right. There we go. These should all be set correctly already, right? Right, right, right here. Okay. Get ready to push these back on track two. Did I look at the end of track two? I don't think I did. Track two, what are we looking like, track two? And track two's got room. In fact, these two will not even push it over the, uh, the shunt limit. So that's good. Is it, though? I don't know. It works. There we go. And I started opening the, the doors on my uh, empty box cars. Because it was easier to identify them. Uh, and because I kind of like the look. My understanding is that uh, railroads don't do that. Because the doors bang around or whatever. They have a chance of, you know, not locked shut. They have a chance of sliding. Don't put their hand up there. They could get it smashed by the huge steel doors slamming shut on them. Oh, I was going to hit, uh, I was going to, no, I want to hit that. I want to hit this. There we go. We're going to ride the boxcar back. There we go. I was going to hit uh, number two, which would bring me back to the cab. I would going to put us way at the top uh, of this train. I don't want to do that. Okay. There we go. Oh, 
we'll slow it down a little bit more. Beautiful. That one seemed kind of like I didn't push it back far enough. Awfully close to that one there. Why did I do that? I don't know. I make so many moves on this railroad and all the other railroads that I'm uh, playing that I, I can't remember. Hence, the spreadsheet. Okay, that looks more like it. Track 2 is now completed. We're headed over to track uh, 7. Apply that. Go here. Go here. Forgot who I am. Okay, now we got to get over to track 7. We're going to have to clear this one first. Then once we clear this one, we're going to go this way. And then that way, yeah. And then this way. And then there's track seven. Beautiful. Okay. That's yeah, meowing. It must be close to breakfast. That's why she's meowing. gonna be patient here baby i'll be done here in a minute well in about 30 minutes yeah i know you don't like that. all right really don't need that here we go grab on maintaining three-point contact which you really can on these can you there is no third point, unless you're holding down, right? Is there a bar there to hold on to? Well, a little one. You're going to stay bent in half there while you're riding it back? Doesn't seem safe. It's not three-point contact. Three-point contact. Two hands. No, no. Strike that. Two feet. And two hands. That's what they want. And you may think to yourself, who's, who's ever going to know? You know, if you're only, if you're standing on one foot. Or just two feet and no hands. Or one foot and one hand. Who's ever going to know? Yeah. Until the supervisor's looking out of the tower one day. And the next thing you know, you're sitting in his office. He's asking you questions like, why is it you think that the safety regulations apply to everyone but you? Can you explain that to me? And then if you're dumb, you try to argue it further. Well, but the way I was hanging out, it was safe. If you're smart, you just go, they do apply to me. I, I, I messed up. It won't happen again. And then you go back out here and ride some more cars. All right. Slow that down. There we go. All the cars now are off the inbound track, as you can see right here. And so that will end Jeff's turn. Put you guys on pause. Uh, I'll figure out what we're doing next. Sean is here in Tidewater Point, and Sean's working not five, not six, but seven industries. And this is one of the industries he's working right here. Uh, it's the uh, ethanol, Tidewater uh, ethanol. No, I take that back. This is Tidewater diesel. Yep. And he has offloaded these two cars into Tidewater diesel, and he's going to leave them right here uh, to go work the other six industries. And that way, uh, he'll go around and pick them all up at the same time. So he's got to go back down into the dock area. And the only way to get to the dock area is this track right over here. There's nothing else that leads down there except this track over here. So we got to move him all the way out to that track over there. So let's apply the handbrake. Break this off. And then say, uh, give me some bell. A little bit of horn. A little bit of that. And he's on his way. 
Okay, let's clear him a path. Let's do some uh, dispatching here. He's going to have this. Yes, then this. No, this. Oh, let's keep this track clear. All the way down here. No. Yes, and yes. And then he'll come over to here. Yes. And then he's going to have to clear this track right, or this switch right here in order to get onto this track right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. There goes Sean. Look at him go. He's nice. You're going to follow him on my side. I want to have fun, too. I want to hear the noises and sounds and all that stuff. So he's got one more car to set out at the Burnside Coal Dock. Then he's got, still has 17 grain hoppers full of corn to, to dump at Burnside Vegetables. He's done two. The Dole Fruit Dock is done, but we're going to have to move those out of the way because we need to put more bird's eyes right down the track for them. So we're going to have to move them out of the way. Um, the Tidewater TOFC, which is off of that barge, uh, that is done. So we ain't going to do anything with that. Uh, we saw Tidewater Diesel's done. The Harley Brothers still have two more to set up there. And Tidewater Ethanol, we still have five more uh, tankers to uh, off, off, uh, to set out there. Yeah. So that's where we're headed. I just read you off the switching list. Pretty much what I did. And there is a line of trains waiting to come into Tidewater. That's why we're getting Vaughn and Adair, but they're not causing any problems, at least I don't think, as far as frame rate's concerned. So we're gonna we're gonna just let them complain. There's our shunt limit sign. What, what actually does it say? Does it say shunt limit? Now I gotta see. I don't think it does. It says limit of shunt. I think right. Yeah, it says. Same difference, right? Shunt limit, limit of shunt. All righty. Around the corner here. It's a nice looking engine. I like the SD80 Max. Beasts is what they are, but nice beasts. Is that a whistle sign? Yeah, what are we, what are we whistling here for? Is it just warn people coming in and out of the tower? There's no, they don't cross the tracks here. Why were there two whistle posts there? Did you just whistle coming out onto the main? I don't have any answers. Alrighty. <laughs> and I've never noticed those till now. back over this way. That one I... Yeah, I did. I think we'll go all the way in deep as we can first, and we'll take care of the uh, coal dock. I don't know if we can bump them forward. Maybe that's not a good idea. Eventually, it's going to become a problem, if it is a problem now. We'll run down there and take a look. Okay, so now he's going this way. Yeah, that one's correct. All right, let's take a run down there. He's, he's got a ways to go. So the ethanol, we're going to have to move out of the way. There's, there's just no room for him. Here's all the bird's eye vegetable ones we got to get out of the way. The coal dock, we have a straight shot through to the coal dock. We only got this one here to unload. These five have been unloaded. Is there enough room to cinch it forward? To get this one, all three of these over this before we hit that. Hmm. Or option B. Well, if there's not, I could just pull them back, throw some onto this track here. Okay, yeah, we're, we're definitely going to go get those first. Now, are the track set for that? I don't know. Sure wish I had checked that while I was down there. We'll do it now. Give Speed him up just a little bit. 
Are we set for a straight shot? My guess is going to be no. Yeah, look at that. First one's already wrong. So is the second one. Beautiful. There we go. That one's wrong. No. That goes out to the TOFC dock. There we go. Now we're set up straight through. Straight through like a bullet. There's the lower yard there on our left. We are now lower than the lower yard. And the cab is a rocking. So don't come a knocking. Well, you've got some serious sway going on there. Let's slow it down now. Back to this. Let's uh, start up the bells. There could be people walking around down here. Go. Corner here. It's probably still 30 mile an hour here. There was no speed limit sign. Here come these uh, service roads. Track crew's got to get down here and straighten these things out. I think some of these ties may be rotten. There we go. Okay. Let's go over here now. Oh, jeez. Okay, slow down, slow down. I can't see. <laughs> what happened? Oh, gosh darn it. <laughs> what did I do? Did I derail? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. So we still got a little bit of room left. There's no way. Look at it. We got to get this much more on there. Yeah, it's just not going to go. Okay, so we'll, we'll we'll pull forward now. Gosh, as soon as you hit that water, boy, it takes a big dip. Can't see what's going on all of a sudden. Okay, so all those are set correctly. We're just going to have to clear this right here. And then we'll back all the empties uh, and use the uh, scrapyard line right here as a temporary uh, storage space. comes very nice go Now, do we got room for all five on this track? I'm going to say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The buffer's way back there. We'll 
just shove these onto this track and then go unload the last coal. We actually don't have to put all five on here, but uh, what's the difference at this point? We just actually don't need to put one on here, but we'll stick all five on. Why not? Apply it and then pull it forward. Beautiful. Bring it around this way. What are those two guys doing down here? Talking about how to use a shovel. I think you put the sharp end into the dirt and then you step on these two flat things. Rookies, huh? All right, here we go. You see the TUFC dock right there? Oh, geez, we came closer to that buffer than I thought. I mean, we're not right on top of it or anything, but I thought we were going to have more room than we did. All right, it's all good. It all worked out. In the railroad business, we call that a blind shove. Just shove it and see what happens. Is that an actual railroad term? No. Actually, it could be because I'm unaware if it is or isn't. I'm thinking the answer no is no. Okay, so we got the coal done now. Where are we going next? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, don't do, don't do that again. Uh, we're going to come down here now. Really, the ethanols are in the way. There's no getting around it. The ethanols are in the way. Although we don't need to come down this track anymore. So we can start shoving things onto this track. Well, no, we do need to go down that track. But it doesn't make a difference because we could either store some cars over on this track here. Or we could just shove them down this way because all we got to do... Well, no, we won't need to because... I keep forgetting. There's only one car left to, be, to unload there. So we won't need to come back down this track again. So we can start sticking the ethanols uh, over here. The empty plus the remaining loaded. Because what I'm getting at is, you see here the ethanols, right? We have to go around the corner here. Get these doles and these done. Harley Brothers. All that. All that over that way. Because we're, remember, we're working seven industries. So here on Tidewater Dock. We'll just stay up high here. Here he comes. Nice. Conductor, jump off. Throw the switch. Now we'll back up and grab onto these ethanols right here. There we go. Slow it down to here. And I think this this one on the end is empty, but I don't think yeah we because we left room for the uh, service road. That's why. All right, so we're gonna pop this one back now. There we go. Got it. There's not enough room to yeah. There's not. There's not. Okay. So then we're going to go forward. We're going to stick this empty end of this track momentarily. Put that one, set this one out. And then we'll go back, grab this one, and shove them all onto that track over there. Two, three moves.
Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Of course, these are all CTC switches. That wouldn't really be the case, but. I think that's a CTC switch, right? Oh, no, 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 no. You're going the wrong way, dummy. Uh, no, that's a, that's a manual switch. That's not a CTC switch. Oh, here, look over. We're underwater now. All right. Slow it down. Put it right there. We're blocking the service throw, but it's only temporary. Apply that. Which <laughs> I can't remember which is which now. We're backing into these. We're backing into these industries over here. We're not going forward. Oh jeez, here it was that drop off again. There we go. Now let's back it past this so we can set this one out. There we go. Now we're going to back it in. Back, back up. Back and not forward, back up. There we go. And we're going to line that one up with this tower right here so it can be emptied using these two giant hoses right here. Sure. Kind of a cool shout that tanker sitting right here. I kind of like that. All right, did I stop it right? I was monkeying around there. Not, not really. Just a little bit more forward. That'll loop. Right there. Apply it. There he goes. Nice. Real nice yard work going on here. Servicing industry work, huh? Guess we're not really in a yard right now. We're in an industrial complex? I don't know. We're on the industrial dock. There we go. Now we're going to go back and get this car out of the way. Of course, I wonder now if we shove them forward. Hmm. Let's go over there and take a look at that in a second as soon as we clear this switch. What if we were to shove them forward? Because the Harley brothers are sitting right here, and we have these four are already unloaded. The goods are unloaded into that warehouse right here. These two are not. So I could take the ethanols, shove this forward. There's plenty of room to get two more cars on there. And then I could back the ethanols back down over here. So when I need to use so the ethanols, will be sitting right here, which would be closer than if I had to put them way over here. I like it. Okay, so is this one set correctly? It is. And it's going to take us right out here. There's no other switch out this way, is there? There is not. Okay. Well, here we go. Let's hook up. I did this one. Yeah. Uh, let's hook up to this. we are. Beautiful. We can add a little speed to it. We're going to ride this one back. Ride the empty ethanol tanker 
back to the Harley Brothers. Good shipping. Can't miss these cranes hitting us in the face. Nice. Another service road. Looks like I blocked this one. They could squeeze around it, but. I decided to do that. Well, I could go back at the video and look, but I won't. That's going to be uh, too much speed right there. Let's back that off a little bit. Just to get these two into position alongside the dock here. There we go. It'll do it right here. You know, they don't have an actual platform to offload onto. Uh, but they have uh, boards they set up here. They also they have one rolling platform. They uh, are in the in the uh, process of buying uh, another one. Uh, so it rolls out there. It's a steel platform. You know what I'm saying. All right, so we got the Harley Brothers done. Now we're going to pull this forward. And then we got to work all this right here. These three are already empty. Only the two here, you see over the unloading grate right here? Only these two are over the unloading grate, so we're going to have to move it back. I don't think there's any enough room to shove those two forward. You know, shove the next two over the grate. I think we have to pull them out, then shove them, I think. Here he comes down around the corner. We'll see what kind of a uh, room we got on that track after we clear this switch. Also a manual switch. As one would expect. Okay, let's see what kind of room we got here now. We've got... Oh, no, look at that. Yeah, there's the grate. There's the unloading grate right there. We we probably can fit two more cars. We only have to maybe shove these forward, and that's it. Oh, I already threw it. Okay, here we go. No, 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 no. It's the wrong way again. There you go. Shoving these. You're not pulling them. Or push them. I don't know. When you're going backwards, that means shoving. When you're going forward, you're pushing them. No, you're shoving either way. There we go. This should be our last move, I think, with Sean. Better be real careful, though. Don't want to ram him into that buffer on the other end. That's bad PR. Here we go. That SD80 Mac, he's going to have no problem pushing these. All right, I'm looking. I'm getting the the bird's eye view here. No, no pun intended because we're delivering the bird's eye uh, vegetables. All right, the pun was intended. Uh, here we go. Oh, man, it's going to be so close. Oh. I thought I'm giving birth. He stopped. Oh, yeah, that's not enough power. Give me another notch. Give me half a notch. <laughs> okay, give more power. You won't move now. What? 
Oh, you know what it is? Is he's probably up against the buffer. That's why they won't move right now. They're not, you know, you look at it, you're like, no, he's not. But I think maybe the, the, the program has him up against the, the buffer. Yeah, look, this last one doesn't line up. All right. <laughs> let's, let's pull him back. Yeah, he must have been right up against the buffer. That's what the that's what the physics was determining. We were too close to the buffer, so it was like, mm, uh -uh. that ain't gonna happen. Try again, buddy. Alrighty. Okay, so we're gonna have to pull two the last two uh, green hoppers. Stick them over here. And then put the next two green hoppers in place. Yeah. It's getting complicated, but that's the way I like it. I like it when you gotta think. You gotta try to figure out these puzzles. And really, this isn't an overly difficult one. I was just hoping I'd be able to save myself a move or two, but... Hoping to save myself a move or two and then happy when I can't. <laughs> All right. There we go. Slow that down now. Those two on the end are empty. There we go. Stop it right there. We're going to have the camera come over to this side. Shove these back this way now. All those propane tanks sitting out there. Yeah, big ones and small ones. This is an ethanol. Shouldn't this be liquid propane? LPG? You don't put ethanol in containers like that, right? All right, there we go. Slow it down. There it is. Apply this right here. There we go. Now we're going <clears> to <throat> shove these back into the unloading ground unloading grates of bird's eye. It all goes in there. They do a little bit of canning in there. Which means they have the equipment to uh, flash pasteurize them. So the corn doesn't go bad while it's in the can. There we go. Normally, I probably would have killed the bell by now, but I'm kind of enjoying the bell. So I'm letting it run this time. That's what we practice here. Inconsistency. Sometimes we do things, sometimes we don't. Maybe those are propane tanks right there. So this facility here, it even says Liberty Propane on it. Why am I living ethanol there? Um, maybe that's the ethanol tank right there. Sure. I feel like I'm grasping at straws. Uh, this crossing board should be right here, right? It got moved. This was the wrong spot, too. I'll have to fix that next time I'm uh, over this way. Oh, no, this one, well, this one might have moved over just a little, just a tad. No sense in having crossing boards where the grain's going to be dropping. That doesn't make much sense. It's all going to run right into this board here. Okay, actually, we can back it up just a little bit. 
By back it up, I mean pull forward. There we go. And there it is. And there's the end of the video as well. So, Sean, let's make sure we did everything. I did the coal dock. Yep. Virtual vegetables. Yep. The dole dock. I did TOFC. I didn't do anything with them, but they're already done. Diesel was done. Harley Brothers and ethanol. Yep. I got it all done. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. Once again, I appreciate it. I uh, hope you had fun because I did. <laughs> you know. You know I did. Why don't you like? Why don't you subscribe? Why don't you hit that like button? Help me out. Why not? You know the YouTube stuff. Uh, and if you don't like the fact that uh, bird's eye vegetables uh, only allows for two cars to be unloaded at one time, well, this just may not be the channel for you. <laughs>